When Darcel Jackson was homeless in San Francisco, he spent most of his time just trying to survive, just trying to find a new job or find a safe place to sleep. He was frustrated that his smartphone couldn't connect him to the help he so desperately needed. He believed that in a city like San Francisco, so known for innovation, there must be a way to leverage technology to empower people experiencing homelessness to help themselves. There must be a way to bridge the digital divide. I feel that very strongly that people experiencing homelessness are no different from the rest of us. They have the exact same use cases for technology. They need access to data, they need access to the internet. Just because they don't have a home does not mean that they are any less able to take advantage of that or any less uh, li likely to use it. In answer to Darcel's call, ShelterTech was born. Our growing team of committed volunteers works directly alongside individuals with lived experience of homelessness to create technology-based solutions for the challenges they face. We believe that everyone deserves to be heard. We believe that everyone deserves to be connected. I'm proud to be part of a team that has connected over 1,000 people experiencing homelessness every night with free wireless internet. Before we started Shelter Connect, most homeless shelters in San Francisco didn't have any Wi-Fi available. That's why we're working to bring that connection to as many shelters and SROs as possible in the Bay Area, directly to the people who need it the most. Wi-Fi has been a top request among young people here at Larkin Street, and now that we have it with Shelter Tech, we are seeing uh, more young people come in, stay around and get the things that they need so that they can move past homelessness permanently. Shelter Connect now connects upwards of 4,000 unique users annually. And with the help of our volunteers, generous donors and members of the community, our mission is to provide free and reliable digital infrastructure to every San Franciscan experiencing homelessness by 2024. A couple of months ago, I spoke with a caseworker and a couple of people staying at Dolores Shelter Program, one of the 15 facilities that Shelter Connect has wired with wireless internet. And it was there that they told me that the internet that we installed there has been a lifeline for them. Whether it means watching Netflix or finding job opportunities or finding resources for the kids, um, the internet that we provide to them uh, has been invaluable. Every program at Shelter Tech is informed and driven by the true stories and experiences of people who've been through homelessness. We involve the community in every step of our work to ensure that we deliver what they need in ways that are accessible for them. My name is Aaron. I've been homeless in four states. That's over a period of about 15 years. In the past, it was very difficult to find resources that I may be looking for at the time. Water, food, shelter, dental care, et cetera, et cetera. And um, uh, having it all in one place makes it just a lot easier, less frustrating. San Francisco Service Guide is an important new initiative that we are developing in partnership with the City of San Francisco and specifically the Mayor's Office for Housing and Community Development. We're also partnered with HAP, which is the Homeless Advocacy Project based here in San Francisco. And if you go back in time, uh, HAP uh, developed uh, a, a book, which was basically a directory of all the services. It was paper-based, and they would distribute that to uh, service organizations around the Bay Area so they could see what services were available. What we're doing now is we're digitizing everything. We're creating an online directory that will be accessible both through computers as well as uh, smartphones, uh, which will allow case managers as well as people experiencing homelessness to easily find the services that they need to help solve their particular issues. Whether it be a young person experiencing homelessness, a person at risk of eviction, or someone looking for housing they can afford, we're here to help people find the answers to their questions. To do this, we've harnessed the power of the directory to develop step-by-step -step interactive resource guides available on SF Service Guide. In just a few clicks, these guides tailor clients' results to provide them with the most useful information possible. 
There's an overwhelming number of resources for the vulnerable populations who live here. And it's important to have a place where they can go where they know all the information is accurate, up to date, uh, consistent with what their understanding has been of that particular resource. And if there are any changes that need to be made, those will be reflected. Keeping this amount of information current and useful is no small task. Phone numbers and hours change, businesses open and close. So we created events we call Datathons. These are workshops open to the public where we pair up people who are currently or formerly homeless or community representatives with volunteers to work together to maintain the accuracy of the data in SF Service Guide. Okay, my name is Marilyn. I'm a community rep and I love working with the volunteers and everybody at Shelter Tech. They're great people to work with. The fact that we have the ability to really sit down and talk with people who are experiencing this issue that is so rampant and prevalent and has been you know, for generations in San Francisco is really meaningful um, and that we're able to stick with them through the whole process so they're not just seeing, they're not just telling us their problems, they're actually with us every step of the way creating the solutions. No one knows the reality of the services better than people who've actually had to use them. No one can provide context quite like they can. So keeping their voices front and center is the best thing we can do. Half of a two hour evening is spent on data validation, but the other half is just sharing stories, learning more about the experience of that individual who is, who's been out on the streets. How did that happen? You know, what are they doing about it now? And the empathy that is created through that process is usually the main takeaway for the volunteer. When you ask them at the end of the evening, was this a good experience? The thing they remember is the fact that they sat down and they met somebody, they put a face on the homelessness. It is really important for people at Shelter Tech to work with people th that have experienced homelessness and are experiencing homelessness because I have been homeless for a long time and I've realized something. I put it this way. People don't care what you know until they know that you care. And sometimes just um, not getting the information out there, well, getting the information out there face to face lets people know that there are real people that care about them as real persons. What I love about Shelter Tech is it's a great way for you to bring the skills that you have as an individual and contribute to a local cause. It's also a really great way to bridge two different communities that might not interact with each other, the tech community and the homelessness community here in San Francisco. Uh, I think it's a, a really amazing community that we've built up and it's a fun place to, to engage and, and make a difference. Tonight, nearly 8,000 San Franciscans will be homeless. As long as there are people looking for a path out of homelessness, we will be here. We will work hand in hand with them, creating the most useful and practical technological tools to help them along that journey. Now that I'm working with Shelter Tech in California, things are way better. I, uh, I feel like there's hope. I actually enjoy meeting people that care, that are willing to volunteer their time to help people that are in need. Because Shelter Tech is entirely volunteer driven, 100% of our grants and donations go straight into the development and implementation of our programs and directly benefit the communities we serve. Help us build that bridge. Help us plug people back in. Be part of the change. <laughs>